It says here Tommy is determining the x-intercepts or zeros of a quadratic equation. Now remember, in a graph, I have my x-intercepts and my y-axis there. The x-intercepts would be where the graph touches the x-axis. So just like the y-intercept we've been finding with a lot of the other graphs and equations, these are actually the x-intercepts where the graph touches the x-axis. And in some quadratics, you might have two. And that's why it's asking here, what are the x-intercepts, plural? And this is that intercept form, which is going to be really handy. It's a times x minus p, x minus q. Now, what do these parts mean? Well, the p and the q are the intercepts that we're looking for here. Okay, so it says, what are the x-intercepts for the quadratic equation? And let's go ahead and write this out. y equals x minus 3 times x plus 5. Now the a right here actually is a 1 since there's no number in front of the parentheses. So a is 1. And then we need to identify p and q. That'll tell us what the x-intercepts are. Well, the first one's really easy. It's just the 3. So even though it says x minus 3, the intercept form tells us that it should be a minus and that p by itself, not taking the minus with you, is one of the x-intercepts. So one of the x-intercepts here is actually just positive 3. And the other one is where it gets tricky, is it says x plus 5. Well, in our formula, it's x minus q. So what do you do? You take the opposite. So it's actually x equals negative 5 as the other x-intercept. Because we need a negative, we need a minus, and since this is positive 5 instead, we need to flip it around. So our two x-intercepts here are x equals 3, x equals negative 5.